Hello, this is another episode in the life of Harmson. I have two names actually, and I have my legal name which is Bruce, that's B-R-U-C-E, and I was named basically because my grandparents were named Bertram, short Bert, and also Ben, short for Benjamin. And so my, my parents wanted me to have a name that started with a B, so they picked the name Bruce, B-R-U-C-E, which is a very, very common name in the West, particularly in the United States. There are some famous people with the name Bruce. But I never really liked it that much. But I didn't change it because my parents wanted to honor their parents, Benjamin and Bertram. So I also use the name Eric, which is E-R-I-K, which is the name I like myself that I selected. So this is quite normal in the United States. You have a regular name, it's called your legal name, and then you often have what is called a nickname. And so I respond basically to two names. At home, when I used to visit Michigan, I would be Bruce because my family wanted to use it. But with other people, particularly here in Korea, I'm Eric with my friends and family here, which is normal. Now, this is kind of typical of the United States. So I am an American citizen born in the United States. And so I'm, call, I'm responding basically to two names, Eric or Bruce, depending on the situation. So I'll give you a background quickly. I was born in 1944, July 29, that's 2-9 in July, and that was during World War II. Now, World War II was, a, obviously, it was a world war, and it went on in America from 1941, December 7, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, which is a, an area in Honolulu, Hawaii. And Hawaii is out in the Pacific Ocean. And so then the United States was at war with Japan. And then because Japan attacked with airplanes into military base in Honolulu, Hawaii, and killed a lot of Americans and sank several American ships. So the war actually started in Europe in 19, got to think a minute, in 1939 when Germany attacked England, which is now part of what a country called Great Britain. And so the United States did not want to enter the war because they considered it a European war between Germany and some other countries that were opposed to it, mainly Britain. And so they sat out the war. So what did Americans, well you had a lot of people in the United States now that were count, that had, their families had come from Canada and in the United States from Britain. They'd come to Canada and Britain. Excuse me, I got said it wrong. They'd come to Canada and the United States from Britain and also Ireland. And so American citizens, now we're talking about Americans now, American citizens, if they wanted to support Britain, and some of them did, from Canada, and the United States would go to generally to Britain and fight the Germans. So 
U.S. did not want to get involved. They thought this is a European war, and this now in history is called the World War II, because World War I was in 1914 to 1917 in Europe, and that was World War I. So I mention this because I was born in World War II, near the end of the war, 1944, and the war ended with the surrender of Japan. So World War II was going on in Europe, and then Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, and it's a famous, what you call, infamous day, meaning not a good day, it's a bad day to remember, December 7, 1944. And you had a man called Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR for short, who was the American president. And he was very, very famous and a very, very good American president. So he came up with a speech to Congress and he gave a short speech he called about the day of that will live in infamy. That's I-N-F-A-M-Y. And that means a very bad day. So several thousand American soldiers and sailors were killed. A lot of sailors were killed on American ships. And there are some movies about uh, this war, which are interesting. Quite a few American movies, and there's also some British movies. And so I was what you call a war time or a war baby. Now my brother was born on uh, December 15, 1941, and that was three years, roughly three years before I was born. And so he was born on December 15, and December 7 is World War II really started. So my brother and I were two sons, and there were no daughters, of my parents, of Howard Harmson and Janet Harmson. And we were born in a place called Muskegon, Michigan. And if you look at the map of the United States, you have in the upper Midwest, you have a state that is surrounded by three lakes. And it's called, they're called Five Great Lakes. And so I was born in the American Midwest. And so what happened then in World War II is after Japan attacked America in Hawaii, which was a not a state yet at that time, but it was a military base in the Central Pacific. And then the Germans under Adolf Hitler declared war on, then subsequent, declared war on the United States. And Germany was under a man called Adolf Hitler. And then another country called Italy under a man called Benito Mussolini also declared war. So then the United States was fighting against Japan and in Europe, and then Germany in Europe, and Japan in the Pacific. You have the Japanese islands, which are just off the coast of Korea, where I'm now living. I live in Korea now. And I'm what you call an American expat. That short term for American expatriate. That's E-X-P-A-T. That means a person who is not living in his or her home country. And so I'm an American, a long time American expat in Korea. But I've always been interested in history, which is why I'm talking about it now. So my parents came and there were a lot of people in Michigan. We were in western Michigan, about maybe 20 miles from Lake Michigan, and there was a town called Holland. 
H O L L A N D, and we were we were about 20 miles away from that, outside a large city called Grand Rapids, and Grand Rapids was a very large city full of a lot of people from the Netherlands, and so I was born basically in a area of the of a, it's called Dutch Dutch citizens from the Netherlands, which is a city, excuse me, which is a country in Europe now. Now the interesting point here is I grew up in a Dutch Calvinist society. Dutch means the people, and a lot of the people from that area, the counties, three county areas there had come from the Netherlands and they'd came starting in about the 18, 1840s, that's one eight four zero eighteen forties. 1840s. But there's a but here now. Now, my own family was not Dutch. My family was German, from Germany. Now, the interesting point here is if you go back to England, you had the England was the islands, and then in, Central, in Europe you have the... Uh, mainland there, and Netherlands was there, opposite England, and then on the other side of Netherlands was a country called Germany. Now I mentioned Dutch America, well, the people in northern Germany, and also in the Netherlands, and Dutch people, in the Netherlands they were basically Calvinist, which they believed in a religious community that was a Protestant, not religion, like uh, the, the Catholics. So I grew up as a Dutch, in a Dutch community, and we attended the Dutch church, but we, we came basically from the, the Protestant area of Northern Germany. And at that time, Germany and Netherlands were exchanging the, what we call pastors. Pastors is a religious community leader. So I grew up in, in Michigan, and I grew up in a city called Muskegon. And my parents later obviously took me when I was much older and I saw the hospital I was born in. I was born in a hospital in Muskegon and Muskegon is on the west coast of Michigan. And so I grew up basically in that area around Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids is the number two city in the state of Michigan. And then you had the number one city was in Detroit, which is over in the lower part of the eastern coast. And so it was an interesting time to grow up. Now, I grew up, as I said, the first basically about two years of the end of World War II, and the Allied forces basically defeated Germany and Italy and Japan. And so I had, <coughs> I had some people that were soldiers from my family. Now, my mother's family was called the Cracker family. That's K-R-A-K-E-R, -E and that's a German name. And the Harmson family, which is my father's family, and so we were called the Harmson family. Now the custom in the United States at that time was that when a woman married a man, she took on his married name, so she would go through the name change. And so my mother changed from Janet Cracker, that's K A no, K R A K E R, into Janet Harmson, that's H A M, no H A R M S E N, which is quite normal. So that is basically the custom in the West generally at that time. The woman would change her name. Now. In other countries, sometimes the woman keeps her name. So the interesting point is I now live in Korea, and so my wife in Korea 
is a woman called Young Sook Park. And Park is her family name. And Young Sook basically is the one word, and it's a double word, but uh, Young Sook is her name. And so my wife has two names. So in Korea, she is Young Sook Park, that's P A R K, which is a very common name in Korea. And then when she goes to the United States and she starts.